guys, today I'm here with a lip swatch video. It's been a minute since I've done one of these, but when Rihanna comes and knocks on your door, I mean, you've got to answer. Fenty Beauty has launched 10 new Mademoiselle lipsticks. These are described as a plush matte lipstick. There are now 24 in the line, so I'm going to be swatching the 10 newest ones for you today on my lips, along with giving you some information on the launch and whatnot. So let's go ahead and get started. So if you want to pick these lipsticks up for yourself, you don't even need to hear my review. They're going to be launching on December 26th on Boxing Day on Sephora.com in store along with the Fenty Beauty website. So that's where you'll be able to pick them up. They retail for $23 Canadian, which I think is a really great price, especially when you compare to a lot of lipsticks that are at Sephora. That being said, it is definitely a smaller amount of product that you're getting in there. So you're getting 1.7 grams. So to compare that to like a MAC lipstick, you're getting three grams in one of those but I mean how often does one actually finish a lipstick I feel like it's a bit of a myth <laughs> but these shades just right off the bat are very very eye-catching they're very exciting I feel like Rihanna has done a great job with her makeup line including products that are like wearable every day which of course varies person to person but then she's also challenging us to try new colors and I feel like people are more willing to do it if they see Rihanna doing it or if Rihanna's name is attached to it because everybody wants to be as cool as she is and she can pull off everything that she releases flawlessly obviously but very very excited to see these 10 new shades in the line the packaging is gorgeous it is so incredibly thin it's kind of I wouldn't say it's full-on rose gold it's got a rose gold vibe it's a little bit more light pink uh, it has a Fenty Beauty on there very very slim beautiful tube and I find that they're very easy to apply although it is different than a traditional lipstick shape uh, the actual shape that it comes in is very beautiful when you first get it it has the FB embossed on the top of the lipstick which sadly disappears after you use it but I do find that these are so full of pigment they take one swipe and especially with shades like this in this specific collection they're very um kind of different shades. They're the kind of shades that you would expect in any other line of lipsticks that if there was a teal or an orange or a purple, those are always kind of the colors that can go a little bit awry. But right off the bat, across the board, I had no issues with pigmentation on any of these lipsticks, all full of pigment, uh, very comfortable to wear. The formula seems to be the same as the original lipstick. And these are all matte shades, like I mentioned, no shimmer in there, really no scent either. I don't believe nothing I noticed. Yeah, no scent at all, so if you're sensitive to that, you don't need to worry about it. But anyways, I digress. Uh, let's go ahead and get into the swatches. Normally in a lip swatch video, I'm able to pick out like two shades that are absolute winners for me. And when I looked at this line initially, I was a little bit intimidated by it. Although I love wearing bright, crazy colors, I have no problem with that. Just looking at these shades, I was like, wow, these are very interesting. They're very intense. Some of them are very fall, some are more summer. I just think it's a really fun collection. But I loved basically all of them. The only one that I was like, whoa, daddy, like slow down, was the really bright pink, which is the Ballerina Blackout. And that is definitely something that I would dab on the center of my lips with a lip liner. It's a very like Nicki Minaj type color. I don't know if that's blasphemous to say 
about Fenty Beauty, but it's that kind of like Barbie pink, which is basically the only color that I don't wear on my lips. Uh, standouts for me, what I'm wearing on my lips right now, sorry, I have the sheet in front of me because these just showed up and I don't have the names memorized just yet, um, but Pumpkin Rose, I absolutely love. That's what I have on in the center of my lips. Tiger Teeny, which was the kind of more orange shade. If you're looking for more like neutrals, I felt like Thick and Flamingo Acid were great. Uh, Flamingo Acid is like a beautiful, like deep shade that would be perfect for this time of year. Then also, um, I Quit really reminds me of kind of like a MAC stone. So it's like a cool toned stony neutral, which are super fun. On my sheet here, it says F in black. It is F in black. I thought it was called I'm black and I was like, that's hilarious. <laughs> Wait, let me check the box. <laughs> Yeah, it is called F in Black. I thought it was called I'm Black. I would prefer that name. I, I feel like that's something Rihanna would do. Um, but like I said, overall the pigmentation was great, especially in the black, the uh, purple, and that kind of teal shade. Really, really great. Uh, I know some people had issues with the black liquid lipstick. I saw a few people. I didn't have any issues. I did feel like it didn't dry down as well as the other ones, but I would probably prefer this more traditional lipstick tube for a black, I think, over the liquid lipstick. And these are not limited edition they have been added into the collection which I think is super fun because a lot of the time when a colorful or a, a more unique color comes out it's always you know for Halloween or it's holiday specific or it's just one specific limited edition collection um, but this is going to be available all year round from what I can tell so overall I think that this is a really fun lipstick collection great shades in there and it's not as intimidating as you think put these colors on your lips, try it out. For a long time, I only wore like concealer renewed and then I tried my first red. And once you start wearing it, it starts to feel less uh, of a big deal because I know that a lot of people are like, I can't wear reds, I can't wear this, I blah, 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 blah. Things like lip liners, finding the right undertone. Of course, like there's some things that are gonna look better on you than others, but a lot of the time it has to do with your comfort level. And I think that if you're wearing you know, winged liner, mascara, and a really banging lipstick. Like, it can just be the most gorgeous look. I'm so sad I didn't have some of these bright shades for the Bahamas when I was there recently. What was the other one that was so bright? Dragon Mommy. So gorgeous. And I think a lot of these would really complement each other if you want to mix them together like I did today. I also want to mention that I had on a purple eyeshadow look and I tried to remove it and put like some warm browns on my eyes to do this lip swatch video because I was filming something earlier and had like purple all over my face but anyways if you're wondering what's up with my eye makeup but overall very happy with these let me know if you plan on picking them up if you end up with a Sephora gift card for Christmas this could be great and some of these could be really really fun shades for New Year's Eve or whatever you want to wear them for let me know down below what your favorite shades were and if you plan on picking them up and if you'd like to connect with me you can find me on Instagram Twitter and Facebook at Samantha Jane YT and I'll see you guys next time bye